We'll walk around. I wanna see some tigers. Walk around. I wanna see some tigers and some peas. I really wanna hear some squeaks. Walk around the compound. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Wow. Throwing throwing heaters. You're throwing heaters. <laughs> You're throwing heaters. You are. Yeah. Uh, you could say that, like, uh, you know, to like a baseball pitcher, uh, or maybe if someone is like having a good night at bowling, like, ooh, they're throwing heaters. Or if um, if you got a cat that is just like just zinging, just zinging the doorbs, you could say, man, that cat's throwing heaters. I want to promote that statement across the community that's an important one and it's like you got to say it you, you got to say it like big old cheek full of bubble gum just yeah cast throwing heaters <laughs> this freshly mowed section i was out doing that earlier it's sunny and it's nice out. It was sunny yesterday. Um, and it was also nice out. But yesterday, it was like mid, upper 80s. It got close to 90 degrees yesterday. You know, not bad for a mid-March. And today, it's back to, we're sweater weathering in. We're sweater weathering in. We're sweater weathering in. Sweater weathering in. It's a sweater. I have my wolf socks on. Ah, oh, ooh. I heard something from you. Yeah? Should I be wearing squeak socks? Yeah? And you got, look at, look at all that. All them, like, tree seeds. Maybe a different type of seeds. What even? You, you got some grow up going on? Is that why uh, there was this bill for two thousand dollars worth of hydroponic equipment? <laughs> Do you know anything about that, Cassie? She's like, "What? I'm an old lady." <laughs> All right. Well, keep your eyes peeled. He's chewing on some stuff. Some Flintstone pieces. He's taking his Flintstone vitamins. Yabba dabba doo. Hello all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek, again, and welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hi, hello. Modern conveniences. That will, let's talk about them. The world that we're uh, that we are in, the world that we continue to step into, it's just beginning prog getting progressively weirder and weirder. Case in point, my oven kept on wanting to talk to my phone. True story. <laughs> <laughs> it's been happening like the oven here uh, at this this domicile every time I would come home and it's been happening for like the last like few weeks like the last maybe month and I'm I'm home for a couple days every week so you know when I leave and I come back and leave and come back and every time I come back 
I would start getting pop-ups on my phone like, hey, uh, smart device detected. Do you want to connect? And then it's like, well, what is it? It's like the stove. And I'm like, that's weird. No. And, then, <laughs> and it would say, uh, it would say like, we, we'll try again later. I'm like, yeah, 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 later. Because yeah, that's the other thing. Part of me was like, I don't know, maybe I would want that at some point. Maybe I'd want that. You know, just for remote cooking purposes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I told Heidi and like finally I caved the other day they would ask like hey uh, do you want to do this do you want to do this you know you kind of you stove curious and I'm like fine 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 let's connect and now I can I can manipulate my stove with my phone from miles away if if needs be for you know whatever reason i told that to heidi and she's like oh that's actually you know that's that's not a bad thing because uh you've talked to me about being um you know worrying about like oh you know what if i left the stove on? like in my apartment like, oh gosh, what if I left the stove on? And then going back to check. Just because I, I get I get paranoid about stuff like that. I use the stove. I, I, I use it to heat up water for my coffee in the morning. And, uh, and then she's like, well, this way, you know, at least for the one at, at, at the house, you could always just check it. You could check it and then just turn it off and everything. And I'm like, yeah, but then the opposite's true too. Like, what if I accidentally butt dial the stove? Like, <laughs> we're out to, you know, dinner and a movie. And then you come home and I'm like, why? What is this? This smells like, oh my gosh. It's just smells like warm metal. What's that all about? See my, see my dilemma? And it's like, no, 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 it's convenient. I'm like, I don't know. It seems kind of weird. Possibly dangerous. <laughs> I've heard of people, yeah, like technology gets people caught up into these weird situations where it's like, oh, I accidentally butt out my boss while I was like trash talking my boss. I'm like, ah, oh, yeah, you know, like, uh, can't believe she made me work these extra shifts like what a turd and, and then she's like hello <laughs> I'm in your pocket <laughs> oh I was talking about a different Charlene from Topeka <laughs> not you <laughs> hi Mia hi Mia Hi Mia. Hi Mia. And then, you know, That's like, okay, that makes a little bit more sense. Like, yeah, you know, getting, like, saying something that you don't want someone else to hear because your phone, like, accidentally, like, dialed someone that you didn't intend to. Like, that seems a bit reasonable. But then someone says, like, oh, I heard your house burned down. What happened? And then you're like, well, I was doing the hokey pokey at a, at a football game. <laughs> accidentally dialed my stove. Oh, no, I hate when that happens. Oh no. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Luke is throwing heaters. Luke is throwing heaters.
And then like people in the crowd are chanting, K Y O O T, K Y O O T. <laughs> I want to get like a real sports atmosphere for this uh, cuteness now. Competitive cuteness. Hi. Hey, big guy. Hub a guy. Hub, hub a guy. Hub a guy. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Me. 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 Hub a guy. My shadow is in front of him. And then I have to walk away from him. I don't wish to be away from him. For he is Luca, and he is good. If, 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 Hi. Yeah. He's doing pretty good. Yeah. Doing pretty good. Putting on a good show for the people. There's competitive cuteness, and then there's you know, of course, like exhibition cuteness. Hey, let's uh, let's just uh, have fun. Try not to get hurt. Give the people a good show. You know, you just got chat. You got just all sorts of chattiness going on. A bit of, bit of a chatterbox. Yeah, that's okay. Don't mind that. I don't think the people at home mind that either. I was trying to come over here just to get just a brief glimpse of uh, Jacob, of uh, sunny side up Jacob over here. Who ordered the uh, Jacob on the bed of greens? Secret, secret blep. There's a secret blep going on. Selena's been, she's been enjoying naps a lot lately. And it, she gets up and gets around and everything, but she likes to just take her snooze, take her snooze. She's earned it. She's earned it. Okay. Okay, there. That's a nice little beat. Maybe uh, one that could also throw heaters? Hmm? Possible. It's possible. It's possible. I can't really see. That's just, okay, yep, I can see. That's just a fuzzy back. Okay. <laughs> Not much happening there. Malika. Hi. Hello. Okay, focus, focus. Not on that. Oh, no, you're missing all the good things. Because you want to, oh, hey, you want to see that. I know you're a big aficionado of chain link. Of uh, all sorts of just different types of galvanized metal. I know that that's what you want to, my phone is dumb. My phone thinks that I'm a galvanized metal aficionado. <gasps> hey, pretty. Hey, pretty girl. Oh, big stretch. I was called out. I was called out by Julie. Um, who was uh, saying just like, you didn't say big stretch when Melita did a big stretch. And I'm just like, ugh. So? <laughs> Delete that comment. Never existed. <laughs>
in one of the one of the recent ones. Julie also, I think it was Julie, I think it was Julie that also, um, when we were like, I was uh, getting s suggestions for the rhino, Munchie's rhino, and Julie was like, call it Rita, and I'm like, well, no, that's can't do that that's my mom's name then like i'm not nope <laughs> that's not gonna not gonna happen sorry <laughs> yeah you're pretty girl this Pete girl, this good girl. This Pete girl. She's good girl. Yeah. He's good baby. She's a good baby. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. She's a good girl. She's a good girl. Yeah. Just a... Whoa. So sorry. Oh, side scratches? Tummies? Tummy scratches? Not a thing? Tummy scratches, no, no good. She's like, or maybe it gets her too excited. She's like, <laughs> that's it. I mean, like sometimes like cats will get, they get the, uh, they get frisky chompy and everything just because everything is just all, all the, the sensations are just too much. The zest for life. All right, sweetie, I gotta keep moving. The boy. Fuzzy, the foot, the, the better, the, no, no, no. The boy. <laughs> I don't know if Ruby, Ruby, I just are running around, so she must've jumped inside. Must have jumped inside, because, you know, mean man, stupid face was walking around. Oh, there we go. Just doing some, just doing some house cleaning. <laughs> or just rearranging. Some rearranging. All right. Oh, and she's back at it. Back at it, back at it. There we go. It's like, this belongs here. <laughs> this goes over here. All right. Thanks for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbest Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all of your big cat goodness. And if you want to learn more about the facility around me, you can always visit the website carerescuetexas.com for more information. You keep those tigers fed. Big shout out to the extra fancy patrons. I see you. You are so fancy and thank you so much for your continued support. And we'll see you next time. All right. Bye-bye.